Hello everyone, Connie here, she was coloring and craft. I'm so sorry that I couldn't stream on Thursday because um, my husband is working for help from home and we are in uh, a, a country that is a kind of lock, not totally, but lots of people are working from home. The schools are teaching on the internet, so the internet was not good enough to stream, so I will do a video for you. And I got a lot of requests to do more coloring in this book, and that's the Animal Wonderland from Coloring Haven. And the drawings are by Kanoko Eguza. I already did on stream this lovely pig and the tulips. Uh, I already did a anonymy in my own time, so I'm sorry for that. But I thought we could start with this one, and I will do the roses. And they asked me to use the Pablos again, so that's what I will do. And these are the colors that I picked for the rose. Um, I'm not a professional, so I'm just doing the thing that I think is right. So, uh, if you want to do it different, feel free to do so. <laughs> it's, it's just just my way. And I will give you the colors. I think I will use them all, but I'm not sure. Um, this is green for 91, and I have a light pink, and that's 241. It's called Light Lemon. I have Granite Rose 493. I have ro pink, sorry. Um, oh my goodness. 181. No, 081. Sorry for that. Uh, I think this is the next one. Light purple, 091. Purple, 090. Purple is red, 350. A green one. Light olive, 245. And spruce green, 239. A lot of color for one flower, I'm sorry. I have a paper because I always smear the ones that I have already done, so nothing fancy, it's just a piece of baking pa uh, paper that I use for that. Uh, so let's get started. I like to start on the bottom part of the rose petals, and I think in the middle they, they have that. Um, light color with a little green so that's what, what I'm trying to do so I use the light green the 245 and I'm gonna make a tiny green here not too much just a little and I do the same over here and I do it light so that I can layer I think that's it. Maybe a little here. I don't need that dark one right now. And then I go in with my um, my dark um, purpley red. I'm going to make the shadow part where I think it's darker. Like I said, it's my interpretation, so feel free to do it otherwise. And the dark green in the middle. I like to leave a lighter edge so that you can see the different petals better. I 
don't need a shadow under because this is falling over. Inside this one, And I like not to make um, a straight edge. The shadow will not be like. Where's my piece of paper? The shadow will not be like this. If you have a shadow in a leaf, it's not like this. It's going up and down. I hope you understand what I mean. <laughs> Oh, I'm terrible at doing these things. I'm doing my best, sorry. So I do a kind of flicking. A little darker. The bottom. Like so, and there's a fold over here, it will be a little darker here, and down here. I find roses difficult to color, they are not my favorite thing. I'm sorry for that, but it's the truth. that I missed and the one on top here so that's my first layer I think I skipped the next one I can bring that in later I go to the um, light purple 091 and I go over the dark and bring in this lighter one and it's okay to go over the dark because then it even goes a little darker and it doesn't matter it's good i want this to be at the bottom to be light because the light is hitting it because this is down it's an open open space. I hope I'm saying it right and that you know that I'm trying to tell you why I'm doing that. Again, don't make a straight edge. Mm -hmm. 
Evet. Make it a make it a little uneven. And do your own thing. Don't follow me exactly. Do what you think is right. This one is a little more um, of a warmer pink, but I think that's nice to have it in there. Flowers are really colorful. They have a lot of colors in them. Roses can be pink with yellow and green. And little touches of another color. This is the more of um, the granite rose, it's more of a skin color pink. But I think it is nice to bring that in just a little bit. It's a little yellowish color in it. And like I said, it's just my way. Please do things like you think are right. Um, 
I was thinking of bringing in this yellow, but I'm not sure. Maybe here in the bottom part. And I put in the green. That's a nice place to bring in the yellow. Maybe it's a little too yellow, so I'm using my dark green now. I want a little green in there. And it's nice. Not too much, just a little. And this is the green. I want a little green in there. Especially in the places where you where the light is hitting. Don't be afraid to go over the pink. Just blend that color in, that's totally fine. I have not done everything with the green because I want to use my white. Here is my white, and there are some edges I do with my white instead of the green to make a difference. And the light is hidden. And it will pick up some of the pink, that's totally fine. It makes it even nicer. And now I come to my dark color. And this needs to be more dark. So the edges bringing in the dark back. Some places. I think it's needed to make it a little more dark. Sometimes just a line is good enough. You don't have to do much. Sorry for the noise, it's my washing machine. <laughs> it's telling me it's ready. Just to wait a little while.
I think it's getting there. If you want, you can go in with a white gel pen. Mm. And sometimes it will not work when I dry. You can make some highlights in there. Trying to get rid of some of the black. You will not cover them totally, but it will help. To make some of the things a little wider. This is a jelly roll number 5, this is the finest one, so it will not cover the lines completely, but it's okay for me. It's picking up some pencil and then it won't do anything. I'm happy with that and I'm bringing back in my dark color. Not over the white, but next to it. And my, um, I didn't use my uh, purple yet, so maybe I'm doing that now. It's less dark, but it will give a contrast. It needs some here and there.
So this is my rose. I don't think I can zoom in more. Maybe I can show it a little to the camera. It's a yeah, purplish pink. I hope you like my video for the rose. I will do the other one the same and I will make a uh, different video for the little bird. Thank you for watching. Maybe till next time.